This is Brianna McNary, and we're keeping it raw and real on and off the field. Today here on Off the Field, I have the pleasure of standing here with the beautiful Jennica Williams, who is the Chief Development, Development of Officer of the USA Basketball Foundation. Jennifer, it's a pleasure to have you join me here on Off the Field. Thank you. And you look beautiful. So do you. I love, I love your skirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, I've been rocking the tennis skirt. I'm, I have one in my bag. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But, um... Besides the point, the bigger, the, the, the reason that we're all here today is for the Orange Blossom Classic. Absolutely. You know, commissioners, welcome lunch kickoff reception. So talk about the importance of being here and, and why you chose here. Yeah. So I was the former athletic director at Alabama State. So HBCUs, they, they're, it's my heart. Right. And I'm a graduate of North Carolina Central. And so, yes, equal pride, amplified. And I just know that when you have access and opportunity, it allows for you to be great. Mm -hmm. And that is why it's important for the USA Basketball Foundation to be here today, because we want to show folks in the community. We did a lot of community activations all day yesterday in Miami Gardens at the Big Brothers Big Sisters in Miami, mm -hmm. that they can go for gold in life. Not everybody's going to be an Olympian, but through sport, through being on a team, mm -hmm. you can go for gold in life. Right. And so coming here, activating here in Miami, working with the Orange Blossom Classic Committee, it's been amazing because to see these student athletes on the field, but also as scholar athletes realize their goals, that's what it's about. Right. You can win all the championships, but what are you going to do after? Right. And that's what we're here to talk about. What is life after sport? How right. do you take those skills that you learn as an athlete mm -hmm. and make them translatable off the field in right. corporate America? Right. And off the field, we, obviously, that's what we, we talk about such topics yes. right? because it's really important and not all of the mainstream sport networks dwell on the topics that we need to hear about. Right? No, we got we to gotta keep it real. Right. And I think with our student athletes at HBCUs, they appreciate the transparency and the realness. Uh -huh. right. I never sugarcoat anything with the students that I mentor, even when I was an athletic director. Mm -hmm. We have to work hard. We have to commit to connect. We have to be intentional right. about who we are connecting with. Get off of Instagram, get on LinkedIn. Right. Like get them likes, get them likes on LinkedIn right. because you have to see the big picture. Right. The NCAA put out a stat, 1% go pro. Mm -hmm. And it's even a smaller percent that'll be an Olympian right. with us at US say basketball right so what are you going to do once the ball stop bouncing right let's right. talk about that let's have a plan and that's what we want students to start thinking of at an early age play sports be engaged because it's good for you right oh but what is it how can sports be a vehicle to help you be that doctor that lawyer that entrepreneur right. that's the goal and representation matters right? absolutely even from your role transitioning from athlete into your role now right can you talk about that a little bit oh my gosh it was hard um i went through a state of depression when i the ball stopped bouncing because that had been my identity for so long since I was in sixth grade. And so when the ball stopped bouncing, I had to think, really have a like some self-talk. Right. How are you going to impact the sport that you love and sports in general, right. but from behind the scenes? Right. So really hyping yourself up. To get to hype yourself up, yes. you have to have that self-talk is so important. Having mentors, I'm really big on mentorship, which is why I created some programming at USAB, our Torch Leadership and Sport Mentoring Program. Okay. We match students at minority serving institutions with our executive team at USA Basketball. Okay. So that we can create that pipeline. Right. So that we create that next generation of leaders. Yes. BIPOC leaders, black indigenous people of color that are leaders in sport. Yes. That's the goal. Yes. And so, but it was a hard transition. But again, having that good circle, understanding the value that you bring in those transferable skills, it was able yes. to help me make that jump into corporate america right and the resources are there for us now yes. you know what i'm saying and it's so, definitely more so than when i was a student athlete exactly. yes and so you know what i want to ask you about as well is uh, women's sport yes right it's evolved it's growing talk about how proud you are about oh my gosh the you know progress that you see the time is now yeah like the like the amount of people who are buying into women's sports right the trajectory is high right so i just talked to some young ladies and um boy, boys and girls at uh, skyway elementary okay and at the big brothers Big systems program if you're a female and you're not involved in sports you need to get involved in some sport i'm biased to basketball right but get involved because people are tapping in their 
watching, they're investing in women. Mm -hmm. Women and girls in sports, people are investing because they see, it's like a stat that like 80% of women who are C-suite CEOs, yeah. they play the sport. Right. So to me, it just, the skills that you learn, teamwork, yeah. hard work, communication, time management. Right. Those are skills like you're getting those at a young age. So when you get to college, it's a coach. Right. You're in the corporate America. That's why companies target to Netflix. Right. Because they already have that mindset, yeah. that winner's mindset. Yeah, yeah. And so I just really encourage play. Play something. Right. Yeah. Right. So it doesn't have to be basketball. But no. And you, you can have different roles. This you, is what, you know, people don't understand. Even being a manager. Right. You know, just be a part of a team. Early hours, late nights, that commitment that focus, mm -hmm. that locking in, being a part of a team. Mm -hmm. That's something that is just, um, honestly, I don't think I would be the leader I am today if it wasn't for being a basketball player or playing sports. I was a track student athlete as well. So just doing something, it teaches you so many intangible skills. It does. And one thing that Off the Field is introducing down here to South Florida is the media training for student athletes ages five and up. I love right? it. So talk about why do you think that's important and why would you be supportive of it? As an athletic director, I made sure my student athletes had media training. When I was coming in as a freshman at North Carolina, we had media, it was mandatory. Right. You have to be able to tell that narrative, right. tell your story. Right. That's gonna help you when you're interviewing with resumes. Right. I'm a journalism major, so right. obviously I'm biased. Right. I, I was on the camera behind the scenes production. You have to know those skills. Right. And even though I'm not on working in television now, right. these skills I learned as a journalism major, they helped me in my role today as the chief development officer at USA Basketball. So take those trainings. You should always be a life learner. Mm -hmm. Always make sure you are locking in identify mentors, people that look like you, but that don't look like you. Right. Cause it's people that don't look like you that really will help you as well. Right. It's about people's hearts, right. but you have to be open and coachable. Right. That's my thing. It's about coachability. Right. As an executive, I look when I'm hiring, I want people who are coachable. Right. So I tell young people all the time, open mind, solution oriented and be coachable. Right. All of those things I totally agree with. You know, being in this media space, it's not easy for women, but it's not. When there's more of us on camera and behind the scenes, we have the ability and the power to control the narrative a little bit more, right? And so, you are fantastic. Oh, you thank have you. a great presence. <laughs> You're friendly and warm where people want to share, mm -hmm. but representation matters. Our mm -hmm. kids have to see people that look like them in these spaces. Yes. And that's why I'm so intentional about going into underserved communities. Mm -hmm. But you don't know what's going on at someone's home. We can be that beacon of light that gets them through the year right and so that's why we have to be intentional when we get to a certain space we pay it for right and that's what the usa basketball foundation we're about headed for we have three pillars that we focus on youth empowerment champion women and promoting social responsibility i love that so usa basketball foundation if you don't know how to get in contact with them how can they get in contact yeah um subscribe to us it's usabfoundation.org okay. you can follow me on twitter it's at j or at, excuse me yeah at jt <laughs> for USAB, but subscribe. That's the best way to stay in the loop. We do a lot of camps and clinics across the country. We do a lot of community activations. I try to do four a year. Okay. We were in um, Indy during NBA All-Star. We did two here in Miami, and then we're going to do one in Atlanta September, the weekend of September 20th. So that's just subscribe, tap in, follow us, and just make sure you stay in the loop so y'all can, you know, gain yeah. what we're trying to give back to the community. All right. Turn on your notifications. <laughs> yes. So you know about the upcoming events and all the great things that USA Basketball Foundation does. So, Miss Jennifer Williams, thank you for joining me here on Office Field. It was a pleasure. It's such a pleasure. Yes, and I look forward to seeing you this week. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, let's take a